Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about with you is how to identify a wholesaler, which is going to be the right kind of wholesaler that you're looking for. Now, this might be a wholesaler or even a distributor. And the one thing you're going to really need to check is if they are actually a wholesaler and they are registered within the UK. Ultimately, they have UK VAT, which is the important part. The key kind of indicators you're going to notice on wholesalers are that it's unlikely they're going to allow you to purchase or maybe even see pricing without creating an account. And their pricing could be hidden, like I just mentioned. They're going to have words such as like, wholesale, distributor, maybe trade pricing, or they have things like excluding VAT. These indicators are going to be that there's a valid wholesaler. For example, right here, I'm on Jones's wholesale right now. And again, it's got the word wholesale. Number two, you can see it says minimum order value, 300 pounds X VAT. Normal websites don't do X VAT. So you can see that they're X VAT. They have the ability to toggle on and off that. So generally, when you talk about trade, wholesale, distributors, everything will always be in X VAT. So just be mindful of that. And you can see here, like, why we've got Got products, we can't actually see the pricing, which isn't like a normal website. Normally they would show you the pricing. Now, the second thing I want to talk to you about is finding information out about the wholesaler. Now, one of the most crucial things you can do is understanding if the wholesaler is based within the UK. And the reason why this is important is because if the wholesaler is not based in the UK, there is a high chance that they're not actually a UK wholesaler and they're not paying UK VAT. And what you want to do is just make sure that you can reclaim the VAT back from your purchases. So understanding if they're based in the UK is going to be a key indicator that's going to help you understand this. Now, obviously, you can reach out to them and ask them what is their VAT number, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But before you reach out, you can do a few checks just to kind of help you understand if you're going to have a high likelihood. So what are the things that we're looking for? Whenever we go through a website like this, obviously, a couple of things, have a look at the numbers. That's if that looks like a UK number, you're going to say like, great, I think this is a UK wholesaler. Maybe look at the address. You can see down here, Jones's Wholesale, they are based in the UK. So we like that. Also, as well, maybe you can't find the address there. Go into like the privacy policy, the terms and conditions, have a little look down, you can see again, they're like, they are based in the UK. Don't just assume because of co.uk website that they are in the UK. That's a really easy thing to do. But again, looking for all these indicators that they are multiple things, telephone number, address, even the domain name, not on its own, but as an indicator, it's going to help you understand if they are in the UK. The reason why this is important is because about VAT numbers or VAT numbers, getting the VAT number for the wholesaler is crucial. Now, if they can't provide you with a VAT number, which starts with GB or Great Britain, then you are not going to be able to reclaim the VAT back from unless you are registered in the same place they are. There is something called EC reverse charge, and I won't go into it. And this is for like European Union purchases shipping into the UK. But the one thing you do would generally want to look at is just making sure they're VAT registered within the UK. I'll talk you through some key indicators that you can look at. And again, those address details are going to help you out. If you can find the VAT number and it will say VAT, and if it starts with GB, you're onto a winner. But if it doesn't start with GB and maybe you want to test it out or you're not sure, then what you can do is just type in VAT checker into Google and you're going to come to this. This is going to basically allow you to put in a VAT number and you can just click start now. And what you're going to be able to do is in here is drop in a VAT number and it's going to show you if that number is legit. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and search that invalid that number. So that obviously isn't legitimate. Now, if I try another VAT number and one that I found just on the website or on the web, let's see what this one comes out with. And you can say this is a valid UK VAT number. So if we can see that, that's going to say to us, fantastic, we have now found a supplier, which is VATable. This is really important because we can reclaim that VAT back. Now, if you can't see it, for example, when I'm on Jones's wholesale, I can't actually find a VAT number. It's not the end of the world. You can probably drop them a quick email or quick text and say, hey, can I just double check your VAT registered? Is it possible to provide your VAT number? This isn't something which is going to be sensitive information. It's very freely available and they'll be probably more than happy to provide that. Obviously, if you're looking to open an account with them. One of the reasons why I'm recording this video is for the fact that we're now within the Fast Track FBA VA Academy, we're now starting to going to be offering wholesale VAs to support our clients. We're getting a lot of requests for them and we want to do some training videos. We're going to support them out and this is one of them. If you're interested in maybe hiring a VA, looking at VA, do check out the Fast Track FBA VA Academy. So I'll put a link down below to a copy of our VA contract and job description. Whereas if you are thinking about hiring a VA to maybe help do this process, analyze wholesale deals, it's going to really help you out in the future. So check it out. I think you're going to like it. And obviously, if you are looking for a VA, do check out the Fast Track FBA VA Academy. There's a reason why we've hired 750 VAs for 400 sellers because it works. Right, back to the video. The fourth one we want to think about is understanding pricing. Now, this is going to lead us on nicely towards setting up our tools correctly. Now, one of the things that we're going to be looking at when we're doing any kind of analysis of deals is whether we understand if that supplier has VAT included in their prices or not. Now, if I give you an example, let me jump over to here. We're looking at this Lego Star Wars product. Now, right now, what you're going to see is this has a 20.55 excluding 
VAT. You can see there it says XVAT, so that means there's no VAT included on that price. And that's important because I'll explain what tool settings you need to have in a minute. But let's say, for example, we didn't know if it just said 20.55 and we're like, I don't really understand. How can I actually check? Well, top tip for you, put 10 units of that product into the basket and then go to your checkout page. And here we are already in the checkout page. We've got the 10 units. And what I'm looking at is I can see that these products are 20.55. So 10 of them is 250 and I've got the delivery total. And then I've got what's known as here is VAT total. So what I can see is they're adding that VAT on top of this price to make the order total. So what I can see is that the price that I'm seeing here, which is obviously made up of 10 of these, does not include VAT because they are adding it on afterwards. Now, the one thing which I'll explain to you is whether you are VAT registered or whether you are not VAT registered, you will still physically pay VAT. And this is for all UK to UK transactions. But those people who are VAT registered, the companies, they will be able to reclaim that VAT later on from the government. If you are not VAT registered, you will not be able to reclaim it. But both VAT and non-VAT registered companies or VAT registered companies and non-VAT VAT registered companies will physically pay the money, hence why it's here in the order total, but non-VAT registered companies will not be able to claim it back. So just remember that. So don't worry about like, oh, I shouldn't have to pay it. That's not a problem. So you can see here with this product or with this supplier, the pricing that they're showing us does not include VAT. So we need to remember that. Now, the next part you're going to ask is about how do we actually put this into Amazon and do the correct pricing? So let's jump over to Amazon. And while I'm right here, we are into this wonderful product and it's the same product right now. Obviously, it's not going to be profitable, but what are the settings on the tools? So what are we looking at is on seller amp, come down and you're looking for this that setting section here. It might be kind of hidden, for example, like that. So open it up. And if you can't see it, go down to the, the little cog icon here and you're going to go to this SAS panel. And when you get to the SAS panel, you want to come down, have a look at this that settings and make sure it's turned on. If you can't see it turned on, it's turned off. That'll be hidden. But if you turn it on, you'll now see it. So obviously refresh the page, come back. And what are you looking to do? If you are not sure if you're VAT registered, you're probably not VAT registered. Everyone will know if they're VAT registered, but if you're not sure, you won't be. But if you are VAT registered and maybe you're doing wholesale, or if maybe you're a VA working for a wholesaler, you'll definitely be VAT registered. So you just turn it on to standard rate. That's pretty much what everyone's going to be. If our supplier right now, let's say for example, like here joins this wholesale, they do not. So it has excluding VAT or they have no VAT or excluding VAT on here. Then the setting we want to have is VAT on cost is turned off. So that means that there is no VAT applied to the cost price that we're putting in, but there will be VAT on the sale, hence that turns on. So we'd leave it like that. And then the VAT rate would be the prevailing rate right now, which is 20% in the UK. But well, this means that now when we put this price of 2055 into here, what's going to happen is that the calculator tool now is going to realize that this 25 doesn't include VAT because there's no VAT on the cost and it will add it on and then do the calculations correctly so that we can now identify our profit and ROI. And as we can probably guess, like we said, we're not really going to be profitable with this item, but that's really helpful. But if you do have it the other way, it's going to cause you lots of calculations, lots of problems. So if you do, as you say, for example, here, if this has including VAT, then your setting on here is just going to be turning on. So it means that on cost. Yes, that means it's included. And that's it. That's pretty much how you identify the suppliers, how you make sure you know if they're selling with VAT or not, and then how you set up your tool to make sure it's the right way. Now, if you like that, give me a big thumbs up. And if you've got any more questions, drop them down below. But for myself, Thomas Parkinson. Thank you very much.